Have you ever thought about how do you stop translating your head when you're speaking in a foreign language? So don't go anywhere, because that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Hi there, my name is Felipe and welcome to Route Fluency. Every week you find here new tips on how to improve or learn a new language and everything you need to know about working or studying abroad. So if this is your first time in here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any video that, by the way, comes out every week. Translating is actually a very effective methodology when you're learning a language, especially at the beginning and if it is just your second language, you know, the, the second language you're studying, because you can compare that language if you're a native language and that way you you have a better idea of what is different and what is similar and you can actually improve faster. Nonetheless, some students may get addicted to translating and that actually may become a barrier and when they reach an intermediate level. Because you know, when you reach an intermediate level, if you're trying to translate every single word and every single sentence that someone is saying, it's gonna be pretty hard because, you know, translating is one of the hardest things you can do in any language because you gotta be fluent in both languages you're speaking and, as you may know, you will probably get lost in all the thoughts and you know, all the speed of a speech and a conversation. Therefore, we're gonna cover some tips now on how to stop translating your head and actually start speaking more naturally and that's gonna help you especially if you're in an intermediate level because you're gonna learn faster and that's gonna help you on having more fluent vibe to your speaking and listening and everything else. Tip number one is to expose yourself more to the language you're studying. So what I mean by that is that if you love reading books or if you love listening to music or even watch TV series, you can do those in the language you're studying. So if you're studying Spanish, for instance, you can start watching TV series in Spanish with subtitles in Spanish. And I know that may be hard at the beginning, but you don't need to understand or at least try to understand every word or vocabulary, but you need to get a grasp of everything that is happening there like all the contacts and everything and that's gonna make you feel more comfortable when you're having conversations and you cannot understand every single word so you already be used to that and that's what we're aiming for and when you're exposing yourself more to the language to get used to everything happening and you know not getting frustrated when you don't understand one thing or another number two is to stop that urge you have when you see new vocabulary and everything you get excited and you want to see and check a bilingual dictionary okay don't use a bilingual dictionary at least when you are trying to improve your vocabulary try to use a monolingual dictionary because that will give you a more uh, sense of the language you're studying and you will start thinking in that language instead of translating everything you see. So here, of course, if you couldn't understand by the context and you didn't understand when you check the monolingual dictionary, it's totally okay to go to the bilingual dictionary. But don't use it at first, try to use it at last and only when you couldn't really understand what is happening by the context or using a monolingual dictionary, okay? Number three is to start doing your routine activities using the language you are studying. For example, I'm starting to study again Mandarin Chinese and what I like doing is, you know, my daily routine. So if I, I'm gonna cook and I cook by myself, so I don't care if I'm speaking by myself and alone, and I actually love it to practice because you know, I can remember all the vocabulary and I'm speaking by myself and I'm practicing and that really helps me, you know, build my fluency and remember stuff. And of course, when I can't like remember a word or specific thing I want to say, uh, just give me blank. And that's what we are looking for here. Uh, when you're speaking and thinking on the language and you can't remember that word, it's going to give you a blank. So, of course, you want to later use your native language to, you know, jot down the word you are looking for and you can start slowly uh, looking for the word and, you know, building up vocabulary. And the goal here is to actually start thinking on the language you're studying and not translating everything you see. Before we continue, go down here and let us know in the comments 
What is the hardest part for you when you try to stop translating your head? Number four is to practice more conversation. So our main goal when you're studying any language is to actually, you know, be able to communicate. And to be able to communicate, you have to practice. And if you're translating everything, it's not gonna happen. So what we want to hear is for you to, as I told you before, practice before you go into conversations. And what I mean by that is that you can practice, like I told you before, your daily routines, and you can also research some topics and some words, and, you know, just be prepared to speak about that topic. And of course, don't get nervous, you know, if you need to ask the person to speak slowly or to repeat themselves. They're gonna be totally cool, especially if they wanna help you out. One last thing here is to not get caught up in all the vocab and also all the words you don't know. Try to pay attention to the words you know and try to understand it by the context. So that way it's gonna help you think uh, in the language you're speaking and also not being translating every single thing. If you wanna learn languages faster, travel safer and enjoy the culture, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and also if you wanna learn a little bit more about Route Fluence, visit our website because we also have a blog and a newsletter there. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.